is that over there I can see? Is that a whole bunch of different sunnies? Hey guys, welcome back to another video where today we're in the Smiley Critters RP. And yes, as you can see, we've got a whole bunch of people with us today over in the picnic area, including a resting Quackers on the floor. As you can just see him on his back chilling out over here. Quackers, this is no time to be resting. I can see Nubian and Sage are trying to rescue him and get him up as well as Hugo by jumping on him. I don't think that's a solution, but you know what? I'm not a doctor. I don't know. But as you can see, we've got a whole bunch of other people with us today as well, which is pretty awesome. And today's video, not only are we going to show uh, maybe a few more of the special plushies that we get in the school, but something pretty awesome has happened on this map. Now, with the help of obviously my team and their unique abilities with beetles, we've made potentially our own version of what could possibly happen when the next update is out. And I think you guys are going to really like this. So I think what we should all do is head to the main game. But oh, I'm just going to reset myself. I think that's much quicker and easier. And then we're just going to head in there and check out what they've done. So I can see Sage is over here. I can see we've still got Bubberford chilled out and actually quite happy. If I have a look up, I can see a lot of things have changed, including what has happened to Dante's house. This is something crazy. That's what I'm saying here. I can see Carlos is still chilled out in the sky, destroying everything around him. I can see we've got the fountain tower kind of back again, which uh, I'm not expecting that to come out of the uh, update. Do not worry, guys. Not at all. Dizzy, have you heard about the amazing burgers here? No! Ruby told me to come over to where the shop is, and Quackers has just run away after taking a massive chomp of his burger. And look at this. This is a shop that is functional. By that, I mean it is completely complete. Yep, yeah, that is how I'm phrasing that. It's completely complete. Everyone's got burgers. I kind of feel a little bit left out. So, obviously, we can head into the shop. They've got themselves a fan that doesn't really spin very well. I don't know what's going on here. They've got some nice big flowers inside. And, obviously, the most important part is this ginormous burger. So all of us have now got burgers, and yes, the shop has now been complete. Remember, this is not facts. This is not what's going to happen. But we just wanted to kind of bring out our own little update for some of the stuff that could potentially happen when things move on with the next update. What else is actually around here? We've got this massive fountain tower, which we've seen plenty of times before. It's probably like the first thing I know newbie tends to do when he gets beetles in this game. And to be honest, it's cool when you're at the top because you get some really awesome views. So with that being said, I do know that further over here, we have got, if I can find it, uh, oh. Who just destroyed Bubba? That wasn't even me this time. I know I always get the blame for doing it and that's normally because it is me, but this time it's not. Who's done this? This is rude. In fact, it's so rude. I'm going to have to go and tell Sonny to come and fix this. That's what we're going to do. So let's head up over here. Uh, oh, why have we got floating sticks? What? What? I'm so confused. What is going on with this map right now? So we've now got the smiling cafe. He's blue. People are reacting to what is going on here. Hugo is up by the door. Hugo, is this your... Do Wait, it's gone green? Someone here is changing the color of the Smiling Cafe. Oh, no, I like it. Maple's just like, I don't know what's going on. It may be the Smiling Rainbow Cafe, although it now looks like some kind of haunted house. Just because of the color scheme, uh, probably not something I'd recommend going to. But nevertheless, let's continue on over to here because I still need to get Sunny to rescue good old Bubba. So as we head through here, I can see that Sunny is not on the rock. Why is he not on the rock? He's meant to be here. Bro, what's going on? Wait, I found him. Look, Sunny's here. What are you doing over here, Sunny? You need to go and rescue Bubba for us. What is that over there I can see? Is that a whole bunch of different Sunnies? Uh, okay. I think we may have just discovered something here. And that is since the update, we've got a whole bunch of Sunnies just on the beach. I say beach. They're on the sand on the outside of the lake. Wow. What is this? Is this like part of their spaceship? Oh, <gasps> this is pretty cool. I can see Sage has beat me here already. But look at that. That looks like it's the front or the control tower. And this looks like, as Sage is saying, a thruster. And then there's another all the way over there. This is crazy. Why is there so much stuff to do with the spaceship here? They must have crash landed. Wait, what's that over there by Quack is a newbie? Oh, and Sonic Dolls over there. What is this? Oh, <gasps> Is that like a contained 
sunny. It's got green eyes and everything. This thing's crazy. I'm trying to get a decent angle of it, but there's so many people here. I can't do anything. So as we're now in the air a little bit, look at that. So there is a sunny in what looks like a test tube kind of thing. Thing. I don't think that's normally a good sign. And if it's maybe a mutant version of Sunny, that needs to kind of stay away from the rest of them. And probably us at this point. I'm going to just pretend that it's sealed. It's fine. And nothing's going to come from that because that's a little bit crazy. I can see down here, we've got everyone swimming over by the infected test tube. So probably not the best place to be right now. And we best actually head off to somewhere else. So I can't... Wait, what's there? What's that at the top there? Huh? Oh, wait, wait, wait. So there's another thruster at the top of the waterfall. And there's a big ginormous fish. Okay, the ginormous fish is quite adorable. Maybe it's like a little mascot that they have on the front of their spaceship. Okay, well, let's head over here. I can see everyone that I'm normally with in the game are here. Okay, so I can see Sage. I can see Quackers, Murple. Okay, a huge chunk of people are here, which is good. And I think we've actually managed to figure out why all of these kind of sunnies... The team, the group, the crew are on the side of the beach because clearly, yeah, their ship got destroyed. Quackers is saying, Dizzy, do you want to see my so-called Sigma home? Yes, I'd love to see a Quackers. This one has two tails. Wait, that one must be the leader. That one's the leader. He's got two tails. All right, Quackers, you've got my attention. I think these sunnies are trying to work out how to fix their spaceship and we'll, uh, we'll go and explore your house while they do that, clearly. Because we're not going to be any good to them, any use, because I don't know how to rebuild a spaceship. So now we've made it over through the invisible wall. I mean, I say over and through. Yeah, it's one or the other, I can't remember. But we got past it, and now look at this. I believe this is Quackers' house. And, wow, I didn't realize he was so popular. Look at all the guests he's got here. Now, this is pretty cool. He's got nice big windows. He's got a kitchen, which tells the time. Although it looks like it's stuck at 8 o'clock. And we've got a whole bunch of... Wow, I didn't realize he's so messy. Dizzy, do you want a snack? Yes, yes I want the snack. I am hungry. So, it, where's he going? So, the, let's see. He's gone over to the fridge. Okay, this is pretty cool. Um, He's doing something with the fridge. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, my goodness. Why is there so many fish in the fridge? This is not good. Oh, they're going everywhere. This is going to cause so much lag in the game. I'm going to end up probably crashing with this. I knew this would happen when Quack was involved. Although... He's got the same chair as what the smiling critters have. And that uh, Murple is actually the TV. Although people are asking him to change channel. Yeah, Murple's saying they've only got one channel, which is clearly the Murple show. So if you didn't know, guys, Murple is a comedian. So what we're waiting for, really, is a joke from Murple. So let's just see what he ends up doing. Okay, never mind. Someone just turned the telly off. This is obviously what we've implemented into the game. So, yeah, this is not an official update, guys. Remember that it's not legit. It's purely just what we've done as a bit of speculation. The most thing that I would look forward to, and I'm really amazed that the team managed to pull off really well, is the fact we managed to make it look like we've got a broken spaceship in the lake, which looks like it's crash landed from the mountain. And you've got all of these sunnies literally like a bit confused with what to do themselves and how to repair this kind of broken spaceship while on the side on the sand of the beach of this place that I don't know what it is because I keep calling it a beach, but it's not. It's like the side of a mountain with sand. And more importantly, we have what looks to be a very well contained sunny with green eyes, which is probably like a mutant bigger version, which we're not going to let out. Are we safe? Yes! No. Nor Maple. Are we going to let it out? Giant floppy hands. They are. They're like massive sw like fly swatters. Wait, why are you saying do it, Sage? No, Sage, do not do that. No, Please no, keep it no. contained. I'm going to go in. Wait, what the? What is going on? Why is it disappearing? Where's the fluid gone? Sage is saying it's released. He's not wrong. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. This person is friendly and Sage is petting it. So actually that makes me a bit happy. Uh, okay. I think this is the perfect time to leave everything here alone. By that, I mean we run away quickly and safely as possible to now go and check out one of the plushy morphs in the school. Now, this is one of the morphs that Jacob gives out to you if you're a lucky person like we are. And you get to see these very high detail morphs. And as always, we like to kind of manipulate and break them. So, guys, I'm sure as I was just running past here, I saw the muted sunny. And I'm really hoping that's not the case. But something tells me it was literally just behind me. This is not what I want. This is 
No, I want to go. No! And like that, we managed to escape the creepy Sunny by coming over to the Smiling Critters School. I think it's just called the Smiling School. Yes, it is. And what's pretty cool is obviously some things have changed here as well, which is no surprise with the guys I got with me today. But they've also started to make their own extensions at the top of the flats. And yes, we will check these out before the end of the video. Now, what I want to do is obviously check out some of the morphs that we have access to, as we like to do as well. And as I look through the list, we've done Dog Press, Caffeine, we've done Kicking Chicken. So this is one that I didn't have and I now have. And I've got Murple stood next to me with a ruler. Tell me if you see a tiny cat nap running around. So as you can see, uh, we've got this little adorable version of cat nap. Now, okay, yes, it's not as small as the kind of like the toy one that we've got access to. But it's still a pretty high detailed morph of Catnap. That's pretty cool. And I can see Sonic Doll is actually holding the toy version in his hands. And it doesn't look too dissimilar to this one. Now, what we'll do as Sage and Quackers are building their new homes, I'm going to just do a little trickery with this one and make it the size 4. And check this out. We have made Catnap become bald or basically earless it's uh it's creepy newbie is saying it's like a hot air balloon which to be fair we did make i think it was bobby we went last time become a true hot air balloon by flying and attaching everyone to me by rope and you know what i think it'd be a little bit rude if i don't do that myself right now so like this check out my new passenger it is well, it's Sonic Doll. Oh, wait, he can't go through walls. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Uh, oh, no. Okay. Okay. I think we're about to go on an adventure. Yep. Yep. Here we are. Look, watch this. So I'm going to drag him very fast, literally through the school. I've never seen him move so fast before in my life. And check this out. Yeah, not only can we swing him around like in some kind of fair ride, which, to be honest, must be quite fun being on the end of the rope. I've never been on the end of the rope of this, so I can't comment. But it does look like good fun. And I'm curious if we have ourselves... Obviously, Sonic Doll attached me by a rope. And he accidentally manages to, on purpose, get a rocket attached to him. Oh, he's taking me into the sky. Look at this. We're going crazy at this point. Oh, never mind. I think we've actually had a look at all the morphs. As you can see, we've got Dog Day. And then we've got Cartoon. Well, it's not Cartoon Hoppy. It's Hoppy Plushy, which is still one of my favorite ones that's actually on here. Simply because it has a different emote for running. And also jumping and falling. So now I've been told that the both apartments are done. So let us get up to the first one, which is... Whose is this one here? This is Sage's apartment, I think. And check this out. It's got no windows, but I love this place. Okay, Murple really likes this place. Oh, check this out. He's got himself... Oh. Oh, is that all chocolate? Why have you got no strawberry? But this is pretty cool, guys. Rate this apartment out of 10. Sage's apartment out of 10. And let me know in the comments below. But the next one we need to check out is this one just here, which is Whackers. So the first thing I can see is there is a balcony to get a brilliant view of, you know, the scenery. And maybe we can deal with this building here by making it collapse. I'm just saying it's a suggestion. But for now, we are in Quackus's place. And he's made himself a really big bed. Even though he's only like two foot tall. He's made himself a 10 foot bed. Which is pretty crazy. I'm 3.1 feet tall. You know what? I stand corrected. Sorry, Quackers. You are 3.1 foot tall. And this bed is clearly... Still 10 foot long. Nice petting zoo crackers. And obviously, Hugo's cooking everyone some food. And, ah, uh, look at this. He's got some neutral milkshake and some cookies. Uh, the, the cookies, you obviously feed the animal, which is Marvis, who has for some reason got my name. So, again, guys, give us a rating for Quackers' apartment and Sage's out of 10. And let me know in the comments below. But overall, that's the end of the video. If you like, so to hit the like button and subscribe. If you've done so many, it's super appreciated. And we will catch you in the next episode. Remember to boop the snoop bar!